People are very surprised to hear that it happens as often as it does in their communities. What we have to realize is that most children won't speak for themselves, so they're, they're dependent upon the adult to speak for them. A lot of people don't want to talk about child abuse because it's not a pretty subject, and nobody wants to think that it's happening in their neighborhoods, in their schools, um, with the kids that they know. Some of these cases have gotten in my soul so deeply, and I definitely have spent nights awake thinking about some of these kids and some of these families, and really learned a lot about strength and courage through these kids. There was this one little girl who had some things happen, and I asked her, is anything on her body hurting right now? And she said, yes, and I said, what? And she just went, my heart. This is a place that I really do think is the beginning of a, a new and better path for so many children that um, come to see us. It's the place where the abuse stops and where the healing begins. My name is Terry Beatty. I'm the executive director of the Children's Advocacy Center serving Bastrop, Lee, and Fayette counties. The work that we do here can be broadly categorized in three areas. First is we work with law enforcement and prosecution to end child abuse. The second thing is that we provide counseling and therapy for those children. And the third thing is that we provide preventative services. The center is a place where children come to when something bad has happened to them. And our goal is to give them a hope for a brighter future where they're safe and cared for. This place kind of opens up a whole new world for these children where they're free from someone hurting them. I think it's up to all of us to protect kids, not just at the center, but adults in our community. We're just one big family um, and we love our clients. You know, we love the children that come through here. For me, um, the CAC is a collection and a meeting place for superheroes. Um, you know, Batman had his bat cave, and those of us who protect children and fight bad guys, we have the CAC. My name is Clarence Arborough. I'm the Chief of Police of Lexington, Texas. This center has, has helped us a lot at Lexington because if we have any type of child abuse or sexual assault of a child, uh, we immediately refer them to the Children Advocacy Center because they have forensic interviewers that are trained to properly interview and know which questions to ask. Basically a forensic interview is done when law enforcement or CPS have any report of any allegations of child abuse. It's the child's opportunity to tell us as best they can um, the details and oftentimes the very graphic details of what they've experienced. So we come up to this room and the room is kept pretty kind of barren intentionally. It has a video camera off in the corner and that's where we learn what happened to the child without the investigators having to talk to the kiddo and then me and then the CPS worker. They come to one place, they have to tell their story one time. Just building random things. Cool. Basically just a big balcony. It's really and this is all done in a very, a very gentle way. You know, we really don't want the child to feel like they're being questioned. Um, it's very, the whole premise of a forensic interview is non-leading. From that point on, um, the interview, which is normally observed by CPS and law enforcement, the detectives and the CPS investigators know which direction they need to lead um, their investigation. Um, so when we talk in this room, it's really important that we talk about things that are true and real. Can you promise to do that today? All of the children that come in for a forensic interview are given a quilt and an animal at the conclusion of their interview as sort of a comfort item to take home after having to relive their story during the forensic interview. The Children's Advocacy Center 
that serves Bastrop, Lee, and Fayette County actually has three counseling offices. We have one here in Bastrop, one in Fayette County, and then one in Lee County. The point or the purpose of um, the counseling department is to help children ages 3 to 17 and their non-offending family members um, process the traumatic event that brought them originally to the Advocacy Center. They come here once a week for an hour and they get our undivided attention. And this is someone they build a relationship with, they can form a bond with, and a lot of times once they begin to trust that adult, they can open up and can share so much more than what they ever shared next door or something they may have not shared at all. It's very difficult when we see parents that don't realize that when there is, for instance, sexual abuse on a child, it's never the child's fault. It's hard to break those barriers and the, that kind of thinking. A lot of people take the approach, well, you know, we just keep it quiet and it'll, it'll go away. But uh, from what I've seen over the years, typically it does not go away, it only gets worse. That's a scary thought, you know, for a child to have to live in those conditions. It is frustrating sometimes to know that that kid needs help and the f whole family needs help and they don't want to accept it because it doesn't fall within what they believe. So you can become involved with the Children's Advocacy Center. The best way for the public to help police combat this issue is to report it. We always need volunteers through our family care. We also need outreach volunteers. We always have the need for people to, to make donations, especially of monetary value. I can't stress enough what a haven this place is for those of us who work these kinds of cases. It's a place where we can sit down and talk and come up with ideas and sometimes it's a place where we can just laugh or cry because of the stress of the job. We feel like the center is a place where hope comes back into these children's lives and we're just the CAC family.